again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 14th of March, 2019. Article on the New York Times. Title, Fallout from College Admission Scandal Arrests Damage Control in a Scramble for Answers. Written by Kate Taylor, T-A-Y-L-O-R, published on March the 13th, 2019. Boston, two of the colleges caught up in a sweeping admissions fraud investigation said on Wednesday that they were considering disciplining students who were connected to the scheme and the fallout from the case was just beginning. Colleges where coaches were accused of taking bribes were reeling. Wealthy and well-known parents charged in the case were preparing to make their first appearances in court or were free on bail, and companies were distancing themselves from executives accused of paying a consultant to use bribes and deceit to raise their children's test scores or get them admitted to their chosen school through athletic recruitment sports despite their not being competitive athletes. The University of California, Los Angeles, where the former men's soccer coach is accused of taking a $200,000 bribe to help two students gain admission, warned Wednesday that it might punish students whose applications contain misrepresentation, hmm. including by revoking their admissions. If UCLA discovers that any prospective admitted or enrolled student has misrepresented any aspect of his or her application or that information about the applicant has been withheld, UCLA may take a number of disciplinary actions up to and including cancellation of admission, the university said in a statement. The University of Southern California, where three coaches and a senior associate athletic director were charged with taking bribes, said that it would reject any current applicants who are connected to the bribery scheme. All right, so here's the problem, all right? This has been going on by William Rick Singer since 1994. That's 25 years. And I gotta believe that William Rick Singer knows every single parent that paid him. He probably knows the name of those children as well, who are no longer children, they're grown adults. What has to happen is what I said has to happen. And that is that a new test has to be devised depending on the degree that the student received being one of these students that was admitted under the scheme. So if the student ended up with a master's degree leaving the university, then he or she needs to take a test that's commensurate with that type of degree. And if they can't pass that test, they lose their degree. That's what has to happen. That would include Jared Kushner, would include George W. Bush, would include all of those that were on that list. Now, Bush might not have been on that list. I don't know. But we know he was a playboy dummy when he was going to university. I don't know what degree he supposedly earned. But, folks, this is the tip of the iceberg. Now, William Rick Singer was let out on bail. He needs to be put into protective custody. He knows too much about very high, powerful people. That's sort of what I think. And a lot of those powerful people are getting kicked out of the organizations that they're in. This article is most interesting. Gordon Kaplan, a co-chairman of the global law firm, Wilkie Farr and Gallagher, who was accused of paying $75,000 to have someone correct his daughter's answers on the ACT exam was put on leave by his firm on Wednesday. Reached by phone, Mr. Kaplan declined to comment. William E. McGlashan Jr., a partner at the private equity firm TPG, was also placed on leave on Tuesday by his company. On Wednesday, he stepped down from the board of STX Entertainment, the film studio that he helped found with the film producer Robert Simmons. The news was shared in an internal memo sent to STX employees and reviewed by the New York Times. Folks, this is explosive. 
The central figure in this case, William Singer, a college admissions consultant based in Newport Beach, California, pleaded guilty to racketeering and other charges in Boston on Tuesday and was released on bond. Like I said, this guy needs to be put into protective custody. I mean, the people that he knows that he could put away for a long time and all of their children could lose their degrees. He knows who they all are. Also on Wednesday, the University of Texas at Austin announced that it has fired its men's tennis coach, Michael Center, who was charged with taking a bribe of $100,000 from Mr. Singer in 2015 in exchange for recruiting a student who was not a competitive tennis player. This is incredibly explosive. Jared Kushner needs to be concerned, as do a whole lot of others that were involved in the scandal put up by William Rick Singer. Stay tuned folks. Read the article. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. Repost this in all your social media accounts. This, once again, for the third time, is explosive. A lot of people are going to be going to prison. A lot of graduates should lose their degrees. Anyone that's associated with this scam, because that's what it is. And these universities, a lot of them, I think, were aware of what was going on because they too were getting paid. $25 million. That's an awful lot of money to get your children's degrees in the university of the parent's choice. I'll attach the link. Please read the entire article. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. Repost it in your social media accounts. You might want to send a copy of this to Jared Kushner. Thanks for listening.